In today's episode, you're going to learn how to maximize the usefulness of your podcast transcriptions. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your podcast. This week's question comes from David. Hey, friends at Buzzsprout. This is David Pasquale with the Remarkable People Podcast. I'm calling to ask a question about transcriptions. Since I started my podcast, I've been transcribing episodes. However, I don't feel like I know how to use them properly. What do I do with the transcriptions? I go ahead and take them and put them as a downloadable PDF on my website. I put a link in the show notes. I'll even go as far as in an accordion, copying, pasting the entire transcript in there. But I'm not sure if it's working or doing any good with search engines like Google. Am I using this technology properly or am I just wasting a bunch of time and money? Thanks and please help. Thanks for your question, David. Now, first of all, you are taking a step in the right direction by putting your podcast transcript on your website. Now, just a quick review for those who don't know, SEO stands for search engine optimization. So the idea is for Google or other types of search engines to be able to understand what your website or your content is about so that when someone searches for it, your result should turn up hopefully at the first page. That being said, transcriptions are a content goldmine and there are benefits other than search engine optimization. So let's take a look at how you can maximize the usefulness of your podcast transcripts. So the first thing that you can do is to put your podcast transcript on your RSS feed. Now there are a couple of benefits to this. The first one is that if you do that, it can make it easier for people to find your podcast if they're going through an app or looking through a podcast directory. The second benefit is that if someone wants to share your show, they can copy and paste maybe a couple of quotes and then share it on social media or do a screenshot and hopefully you'll get more listeners that way. If you host with Buzz Sprout, we make it really easy for you to upload your podcast transcript. So you can either use a TXT or an SRT file. And once you upload that, Buzzsprout's going to automatically populate that and make sure it appears on all the podcast directories and apps and even on your podcast website. So the second thing that you can do is to repurpose the content. Now, repurposing is just a fancy term for saying you're using the same content, but putting it into different mediums. So for example, you can repurpose into a blog post, into a YouTube video, a slide share deck, or even graphics for social media. So let's break down each of those examples and how you can repurpose your podcast transcript that way. For a blog post, what you can do is you take your transcript, edit it, repurpose it, add some headings, and then it could just appear as its own article. Or you can even look at what the topic or the subject matter is and find a way to repurpose what the guest said or what you said into a separate article altogether. For social media graphics, all you really need to do is to copy and paste some really great quotes and then just put it in a fancy graphic, ideally that is in the colors of your brand, and then just share it and hopefully listeners will too. For SlideShare, all you really need to do is to take a look at what the main points are in that episode and just create different slides that way and then uploading it to SlideShare. If you're uploading your podcast as a video to YouTube, then you can take your podcast transcripts and upload it as well so that it becomes closed captions for those who are hard of hearing or don't want to turn on the sound and they can still follow along with the content. Ultimately, the point of all these tips that I just gave you is so that you can maximize your reach with your content. You took the time to create such a great podcast on all these episodes. Wouldn't you want to reach as many people as possible? So if you want to maximize the reach of your audience, then it's really important that you transcribe your podcast episodes. Thanks for your question, David. Now, if you have a question that you would like for us to answer a future episode of the show, head to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click on the link in the show notes and leave a brief audio message. Podcasts and Q&A is available in both video and audio format. If you like video, please subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. And if you prefer audio, podcast and Q&A is available in all your favorite podcast apps. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.